Hey guys, and welcome to another showcase of the Nintendo Switch Online libraries here. So we have one NES game and three SNES games. And there's one game in particular that I'm really interested in. I mean, like, not really the rest of these games, but it's on the SNES library after we check out this one. So this one is Rygar, which I believe is a platformer, I think. So let's go ahead and play this. So we're, we just jump right into it. Okay, this is... This is interesting. I've, I've, I barely have heard of this game before. Okay. So, let's try this again. The physics are kind of weird in this game. And the, um... Yeah, so far this game's kind of okay. Okay. So there's like different areas. There we go. Oh, okay, well... Yeah, that game's alright. It, it's... 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 It's okay. I mean, um, I haven't really heard of it before, but I guess it's, um... Okay, you can check that out if you want. So now I'm gonna go over to the SNES library and check out all of the games over there. Okay, so now we're on the SNES library and they added three games. Um, two, which I don't really care for, and Paneled Upon, which is actually pretty interesting since it's the Japanese version of Tetris Attack or Pokemon Puzzle League. So I'm gonna check out that one last. So first off is the Operation Logic Bomb. I haven't really heard of this game, so it's just one of those random games that Nintendo, like, adds to their service that no one has heard of, so let's go ahead and check this one out. Okay. So we're just, like, just jump right in here. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh, we have to break through that. That's pretty cool. Is this kind of like a puzzle slash shooter or something like that? I'm not sure. It's kind of, um... You have to, like, hit different things, I don't know. Okay. Okay, this game isn't that bad. It's actually, um, actually pretty interesting. Like, um, I don't really know exactly what it is yet, but I guess it's some kind of, like, shooter, kind of. 
it's obviously a shooter, but um, I see a little bit of, like, puzzle elements, because you have to go around to different places and then unlock different areas. But you also have a variety of different weapons, which is pretty cool. Okay, well, I died there, but, um, this is actually pretty interesting, and I, like, so far that actually seems pretty cool. It's kind of like a shooter, and it has some, like, other elements in them, too, which is really cool, and I like that you get to switch between different weapons. So let's check out Wild Guns now. So, I heard this is, um, I, I haven't really heard of this game before, but I've heard that like, some people played this and some people knew about it before. Um, but it's not really as well known as, um, Tetris Attack or Panel Dupont or whatever. Okay, it's, this one is, like, obviously, like, a shooter or something like that. Something along those lines. Oh, okay. I had to figure out which button it was. It's Y. Okay. Okay, the controls in this game are kind of weird. I'm gonna retry that, maybe reset this, and retry. I guess it's why the shoot, or something like that? That's It's kind of weird. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, let's try this again. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. It's it's kind of weird to control, but Okay, well I guess I'm gonna have to play that more later, but... Okay, so the final game we're gonna check out here is Panel to Pawn, or um, otherwise known as Tetris Attack, or Pokemon Puzzle League. So, they basically, this is the original Japanese version of the game, and it has that one character that's, um, I think an assist trophy or an item in Smash Bros, and also like a costume in Smash Bros lip. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's play the um, main mode on here. I can understand why they call this Tetris Attack in the West, because, I mean, like, it ends once you, um, once you kind of, like, go up to the top, or once you fill it up on there, so kind of makes sense. So basically what you have to do is rotate these things on here and then match them up. Sometimes you can create combos too. This game isn't really like Tetris at all, but I mean, like there's some aspects that are a little similar, like it moves slowly and then it goes fast into like different levels. Then it also sends, like, um, garbage if you're doing, like, multiplayer.
this game is actually really fun, and it's a really good game to play on, like, multiplayer or something like that. Like, if you have friends online, you could play this with them. And, addic and, an and also, like, an addictive puzzle game like this is perfect for, like, right now, since you can just, like, pass the time by playing this game. That's all the time I've got. Now I gotta get back to playing Panel de Pond on my Nintendo Switch. <laughs> 